So, basically, I am currently in Turkey in an area called Izmir and I'm about to have, well tomorrow, I'm going to have my revision rhinoplasty surgery. I will get into explanation as to why and all of that a little bit later but I just want to show you, basically when you do come here, you come and stay in a villa and it's beautiful. This is the room I'm currently staying in right here and I'm with my lovely sister who has, don't know if she volunteered, I kind of forced her to come with me. She's gonna look after me in this time. It's, she's, she's a real one. So she's come with me. We've both got our own separate beds, which is really, really nice. This is like our bathroom area. We have our own sauna. Yes. So this is like a, basically a really lovely luxury villa. And that's just really what you want. Hey, that's what you want when you're like recovering from something. And then there's a hot tub. And this area is actually private for where our room is. But yeah, I'm just gonna get into explaining why I'm having this rhinoplasty. As you guys know, I already did have a nose job. It's been a year and a half now, so it's been a good amount of time for me to really think this through just even consider it and also allow myself that time for my nose to heal from the first surgery but yeah the reason why i'm getting it the second time is basically because i don't know the actual terminology for it but basically there was like damage caused here when my nose was broken and it's basically caused the scar tissue around the bridge of my nose to sit around the bridge of my nose like a bubble instead of having a defined bridge and also the tip is still quite droopy and it's not level with my nostrils and it's just something that really really bothers me and I know it's you know a first world problem it's not that deep but if anyone has a big insecurity then you might know how I feel and it's just something that I know I want to sort and especially when I've gone through all of that spent all of that money and it still isn't right I kind of just don't want to leave it like that to be fair and then also another thing I know I'm going to get asked is why didn't I go back to the first place and that is because and I said this in previous videos the reason I chose that surgeon the first time is because he could see the problem so he knew what he was fixing. This time when I went back to him to show him my nose, he couldn't see the problem anymore and he thought my nose looked fine, looked great in his eyes. So therefore I wouldn't trust him to go back in to sort something that he doesn't really have an issue with. So that's why I feel so much more comfortable coming to Elite and to the surgeon that I'm going to. I'm not gonna lie, I am really, really nervous. I'm really scared. And I don't want you to think that I've taken this decision lightly. Surgery is a huge deal, guys. Like this ain't no joke. It's not something to be like, oh yeah, I'll just go and get surgery and get it fixed. No, it is a lot on your body. It's a lot ment mentally, it just takes a lot out of you and yeah, it's just not something to take lightly and it's not a decision that I decided to make really, really quickly. So I just need you to know and understand that. It's now 7pm, we've been travelling, taking the car here and all of that which they very kindly and very professionally um, arrange transport and everything and they would do that for any one of their patients which is, so far, everything's been really really smooth and there was someone here to greet us as soon as we got here show us our room tell me what time i need to be up tomorrow just run through everything i'm not gonna lie i was really nervous about that because i'm in a foreign country and like honestly i've been saying to my sister the whole way like oh my god what if what if they're not there when we get there and no one's gonna pick us up and you know what if they don't realize this today and what all of these what ifs going through my mind but definitely feeling more at ease now everything's running smoothly. I'm gonna try and take you through this process as much as I can and show you everything, everything, and just to kind of educate you a little bit on this whole journey. Good morning, guys. So today it is surgery day and I've just made it to the hospital and to my room. So I'm just waiting for me to have my blood tests and to get the green light and all clear to say that I can go ahead with surgery. The hospital is really, really nice and clean and um, so is the room. Room. The room is actually massive. It's perfect so far. Um, I don't have any makeup. So, yeah. so uh, revision cases are always 
yeah, yeah. We trouble sometimes for us. Okay. So, but this is your second time, right? Mm -hmm. And it looks big on your face. Yeah. So I can't make your face bigger. No. So I will try to make it <laughs> small instead. Yeah. Okay. That's the, yeah. Uh, and what makes you unhappy the most with the shape? Um, so basically, the the problem is like there's like a bubble um, yeah. sat around the bridge. So in pictures on camera and video, it looks like my nose is like fat. Unnatural. Yeah. Your nasal base is still wide. Yes, that's the problem yeah. as well. So I can feel that you had a surgery before. Mm -hmm. You see when you touch here, mm -hmm. it's like pebble on the road. And here, feel this. Yes. Yeah. Oh. You have a one pebble here, mm -hmm. and one, two, three here. It's like wavy. Yeah. Your septum is quite very deviated inside. Okay. Make your nose shorter. Yes. Because the philtrum here, you know philtrum? Yeah. That space. This space, yeah. It's too short. Yeah. Okay. And as you smile or laugh, I can't see any philtrum mm -hmm. here because it goes down. Yes. And your lips go up. Mm -hmm. It's too short in here. I need to release that fat yeah, nose. I want it. And I'm going to make, you, make your nose shorter. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to correct all these yeah. pebbles. Yeah. I'm going to make your nasal base narrow mm -hmm. and uplift your tip. It's supposed to take about two hours actually, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure about With me. inside. Okay. You know? It's time to go. Because <laughs> this is see through, <laughs> so I can't show you too much. Gotta keep my dignity, you know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Your socks. Please. Your socks. Oh, my socks. Yeah, I told you. Fresh pedicure. Oh, well. sorry. What? Wait, wait, wait! I didn't even give you a kiss. One second, one second. Bye. I love you. Bye, Say bye to the nosy people. I love you. Good night. to explain what we've done to your face? Yeah. Okay, so at this point, we've just had to change Aunt Jules' gauze um, because she was sick and there was quite a lot of um, blood that came out from that. And so in order to help that, um, she now has a couple of ice packs just across her nose and a thicker gauze to collect a lot of that blood. Um, and she'll be like this for 15 minutes and then we'll take it off and we'll do this every hour until that bleeding slows down. But she's a real hero. So everything went well with the surgery, except it was worse than I think. Really? The inside was very bad. Okay. We tried a lot, uh, especially your septum was totally traumatized and broken inside. Uh -huh. I think you, you also had a bad nose before the first surgery. I did. It was also a hard surgery, I believe, because there, there, there were too many grafts inside. Uh -huh. We just removed all that previous grafts away uh -huh. and reshaped the septum in the midline. Okay. Uh, your nose is now narrower and the triangle and smaller. Okay. And also correct with that hanging kulimala. Yes. Your tip is looking very good right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's going to take a bit longer. To hear. We have some pictures. Yeah, yeah, sure. But they look much better in real. <laughs> While taking pictures, the light reflections are not that good. Oh my god! Yes! You Did I take a picture? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yes, airdrop. We also corrected the first surgery and you had a, another surgery. <laughs> so it, 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 it looks like you had two surgeries oh, at once, well, okay? Wow, thank you so um, much. But your septum was really a disaster oh inside. God. I believe I, uh, I have, we have given the best okay. result that can be done. Okay. And it's just the half of the process, you know, the surgery. The okay. other half starts now. Yeah. And then now you're going to get swollen and bruised. You know, it, okay? That's right. And I'm ready for it. Your nose is going to get bigger as well. Uh huh. Swelling, you mean. You know? <laughs> so how about the breathing now? Uh, I can breathe. Really? That's good. Yeah. Uh, as I always tell, everyone should have one nose gaps maximum in really? their lifetime, not twice and not three really? times. Because it's not like an organ to to be to have surgery twice. It's not like breasts or tummy yeah, tuck or yeah. It's the morning after the night before. 
day two. Ooh, I feel rough, guys. I'm on painkillers. Shit, I look horrendous, guys. Oh my god, I'm looking at myself in the screen. Yeah, time to leave the hospital, go back to the villa, and I reckon I'm just gonna sleep today, so I'll update you if there's anything more. Day three, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. This is what I look like. Look at my top lip, guys, hold on. It's like the most botched lip job. I didn't get a lip job, for those of you that are gonna think so. It looks like I've had a botched lip job. Like, my top lip is overhanging my bottom lip. But, yeah, it's just swelling. My eyes, this is about as open as I can get them. This is me stretching them. Oh my God, don't make me laugh. Just lots of sleeping, lots of resting. Same old, same old. Okay, guys, so it's day four. Swelling is, yeah, it's still, it's still going. This is Dr. Ali, everybody. Hello. Oh, wait, oh, there he is. Hello, <laughs> so he's going to take the, it's almost like, are they like straws that are up my nose? They look like straws. They look like straws. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it looks clean inside. Mm. My sister's been cleaning. Yeah, I see. I'm going to tell you when I start, just trying to find the edge. Oh. Okay. So, easy. Oh, fuck. Done. Yeah, you're done. Wow. So, torture is over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys, I look hilarious. This is ridiculous. Basically, he's just taken off. <laughs> can't look at myself. He's just taken off um, some of the plasters because he said my cast is really stable. And he's just taken what feels like drawers out of my nose. It's really quick, easy, quite painless actually. I was just like, it was just more uncomfortable than anything. Just as you can imagine, someone taking straws out of your nose. We are on the mend. We're just waiting for swelling to go really. And we are on day six now. And my cheeks, as you can see, are still puffy. And um, I have got bruising around here and still got a, a black eye. I've covered it up with concealer. I just want to remind myself and you guys at this point that when the cast comes off, it is not going to look like the end result so let's just get prepared for that really the doctor's here Hello. yay It's very different, right? <laughs> I can see where my nose is going to go. Yeah. So it looks a bit like half millimeter high right now, mm -hmm. but half of the graft is going to be absorbed. Okay. It's going to go down. Within the six to eight weeks or months? Months. months. Okay. Or four months. But it's not obvious, is it? No, no, no. I just can't see because I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. I couldn't see. Yeah. I couldn't tell. Otherwise, if it were. If it were quite straight right now, in a few months it would go that down and you're gonna get like a fake curve. Okay. You well, know now it looks good. <laughs> yeah. The shape's fine. It's because my cheeks look puffy right now, yeah, that's why. Yeah, so yeah. everything looks yeah. funny, but I'm sure it's gonna look so good. So I'm gonna <laughs> start with you and then see. Yeah! <laughs> you'll see, you'll see me putting yeah. pictures soon with my makeup on. It just looks time. a bit big. Right now? Yeah, the next tip. week. Okay. Okay, because I think by the end of eight weeks it, it looks the regular yeah, size. Yeah, because a lot of the swelling goes. Swelling. Does. So I have done nothing for your cheeks, but they are already big. <laughs> you know, so just imagine how <laughs> big your nose is. I know. <laughs> Hey guys, so I am now nine weeks post-surgery. I know I should have like logged it at eight, but it's okay, it's only another week on. So this is what my nose is looking like. Excuse my bad skin at the moment. Bear in mind, it is still healing. I still have a whole year yet to go. It's only been nine weeks. The tip especially is gonna get a whole lot smaller, but 
right now. It's still, it's so cute. I love it. Love it! But oh my god, what a journey it has been. I'm just going to quickly get down to some other details that you want to know. First things first, the reason I chose Elite was because I'd done a lot of research on the surgeon. My best friend and one of my other good friends had both had surgeries with Elite before and I had heard nothing but good things and also my best friend also had a nose job. So her nose looked amazing and I was like, it was literally when I saw her nose that I had to book mine. That's basically what happened. So that that's why I chose Elite. Otherwise, to be honest, I would have been really, really scared going abroad, which is why I didn't do that the first time. But now I know, and I'd done enough research. I had two friends gone there themselves and tell me nothing but good things. I knew I was gonna be in safe hands, and I was. The whole experience with them was amazing. Literally, from the minute getting there, with a car being picked up, with an, being handed an envelope in the car with all the information, getting to the villa, being greeted by somebody who is from England and English speaking and all of that. Going through all of the details, the villa is beautiful. There's 24 hour food and drink. There's someone that comes and cooks three times a day. And all of this is included in the price of your surgery. So when you pay for your surgery, this includes your stay and all of the food and all of the transport from the villa to the hospital. I know you guys are going to ask me how much it costs as well. So I'm not going to get into nitty gritty prices because obviously I don't know their full price list. But I believe their rhinoplasties, if you've never had one before, start, I think they're around 3000 or 3500 Hopefully I'm not wrong. But if you've already had a nose job before and you're going for a revision, which is what I was going for, I believe they start around £5,000, depending on how complicated your surgery is. But in comparison to London or UK prices, you're already getting like grands off. Literally thousands of pounds worth of savings. So yeah. I know you guys are going to want to know if it was painful. As you could see, it wasn't painful. I was just very uncomfortable. And as you saw, Dr. Ali, the surgeon, was so thorough. He explained everything to me before, after. He came and visited me the next morning. Obviously, I saw him through all my checkups. And honestly, he's so lovely as well. I loved, loved, loved him. He was just such a nice person. And you could tell he genuinely cares about each of his patients, which was so lovely. I think that is probably everything you're going to want to know. If there is anything else you do want to know, then it's either already on my Instagram stories. I have a little highlight saying my no story and I've got loads of questions answered on there. So check that out. If not, leave it below in the comment section and I will do my best to answer your question. But I hope this video has been helpful. It's been insightful. And I hope you appreciate me sharing this journey with you because it's not been easy. I'll, I'll be honest. It's quite terrifying sharing something so personal with so many people but all in all guys I am so happy with the result it's I'm literally it's the best thing I could have done and it was a risk worth taking but just bear in mind if it is something that you are thinking of doing any surgery is always a risk so yeah give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys and thank you so much for watching I'll see you all in my next video bye I stand, no stand, national, say, I'm